new slot because why not? And we're actually going to grab the med pack that's in here. It's free, why not? And we're going to talk to Ajur. Fibroblades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Gioca con molera, quien con yo pesha, no va molera allí. Yo me yonto ranchi. Ya chisca don puta, casa mo vaca, ho 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 ho. Mo cha con batoras matele. Oh, I tried. Uh, with the high persuade, I thought maybe. <laughs> yeah, he won't actually um let you use any other name other than the mysterious stranger. So might as well just agree to with it. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. Ladies and gentlemen! Draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Deadeye Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Terrace dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The Mysterious Stranger! Okay. So, being that he's ranged, he's going to stay put a moment. Uh, I don't really need it. We're gonna go with critical strike and then... One hit. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! But really, are any of us surprised? Dead Eye losing isn't news. You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. Yeah, I gotta do better than that just to impress myself. Oh, it was definitely worth it. I mean, I leveled up, so... Let's see here. Let's... Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Um, demolition, sure. Persuade, definitely. Might as well up security. I mean, we have the skill. Um, that's a cross class skill. That's a cross class skill. Alright, cool. Accept, accept. Sneak attack, huh? Ooh! 
I might be able to actually use that. Okay, so let's get our money. Okay. So let's double check and see if we've got anything here. Didn't think so, but hey, it was worth a shot. Alright, so I'm not going to bother saving again. Um, I usually do save just in case, but... Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you girl on two fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger! Okay, so... Oh, I guess we can't really do that. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, he's gonna continue, so I'm gonna lob a grenade at him, and then... Should be dead already. What the hell? Come on! Kill him! Thank you! Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Only time will tell. Okay, nearly lost that one because I couldn't land a hit. That was agitating, to say the least. Alright, let's get our money. <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, we actually don't need to do that. All right, that at least gives me that, and yeah, I don't feel like talking to him right now. Okay. Uh, maybe I do need to quickly heal. Hold on. There we go. Because, you remember our little excursion, our the little princess we, uh, ticked off? Well, here she is. The uh, heck? You need a lesson on how to treat your social better. Vibro blade and another vibro blade and a med pack to replace the one that I had to use. Yeah, I don't. Uh, of course, he wants to talk. Yeah, I don't know where I actually went, but okay. Yes, what's on your mind? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? Yes. No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. Yes, excellent. Your secrets will soon be mine. No, I was just joking. Though you do seem to be full of questions. 
It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of the people. And for what? In the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? A smuggler? I should have guessed. Now, isn't it odd, however, that a smuggler who was added to the crew at the last minute just happens to be alive? Don't be ridiculous. You've more than proved yourself since the crash. We wouldn't have made it this far without you, but still. You're implying I had something to do with the crash? Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested a transfer aboard happens to survive. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board, but now they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. Really? I love them. I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Are you always this? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? I do consider this important. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious, you know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I'll not have it said that Zelka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Taras. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. And the terrible affliction has plagued Taras for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the undercity below Taras's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into Rakghuls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rakghul disease could be wiped from the face of Taras forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. Uh, yeah. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. 
Okay. Uh, let me look at what you have for sale, because quite honestly, he doesn't have anything else to say. Of course. Just step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. My prices are very reasonable. Just what I need to keep this facility operating. Okay, so we could buy the advanced med packs. Uh, actually, I am going to buy two antidote kits. And that's only because I may need it. Hmm, the security door. Got it. What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. You, you recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless, unless you're a friend of the Republic. Or I could be. I don't know. Um. I. Uh, I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Okay, so... Psst, you there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rakul serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Not likely. Now, don't be an idiot. Just listen to me for one minute, and you won't be sorry. Davik Kang wants the cure, and you'd be smart to give it to him. Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the lower city bounty office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, thank you. Okay, and then we have this excursion. Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. <laughs> Oops. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. I warned me not to take a loan from Davik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. 
You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. You've given me 100 credits? Just like that? I... I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You're giving him a hundred credits? Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away. Yeah, and I'm not really worrying about it because... This guy's got 50 credits. And... So does this guy. Just got my hundred credits back. And on that note, I will... I'm going to end this episode. Um, yeah, so... See you guys next time, and may the Force be with you.